Now to our top story here at six it has been nearly three years since Holly Cantrell disappeared and her family just went through another Christmas waiting for answers. Last year, search teams found human remains in Pittsburgh County, but they have yet to be identified. News on Six's Sawyer Bussey met with Holly's family. The medical examiner says despite exhausting all of their resources, they have not been able to identify the remains yet. They say they're still waiting alongside Holly's family and friends and hopes a lab at the University of North Texas can extract DNA from the bones. The ME says that lab is one of the best in the world that do this type of work. Since January of 2017, Holly Cantrell's family has been waiting. I mean, I could go into a store and hear somebody say Holly or yell for someone named Holly and I automatically break into tears because it never stops you from looking. Holly's aunt, Kathy Camp, says she is still waiting for the nightmare of Holly's disappearance to be over, for someone to finally know where she is, where she went, what happened. There's not enough words to describe the torture. It is literally torture. The family says twice now they thought they were close to answers. In February of 2017, a hunter found Holly's purse in the Cardinal Point Recreation Area near Lake Eufaula. A year later, close to the same area, someone found human bones and scraps of fabric. I felt like we had found her. Holly's family says they feel like they're right where they started the day Holly disappeared. They say if they had answers, they would finally have peace. The torture would stop. The family says there isn't a day that goes by when they don't think about how easy it was for Holly to make friends, the way she loved her kids and her empathy. And if you could meet her, it's like sunshine. You know, she was old. she was always older than her age, and she just had that connection that she knew when things weren't right. Sawyer Bussey, Oklahoma Zone, News on Six.